Welcome to the 5-Minute Guide to iSoup. iSoup is a subscription-based service that allows supervisors and supervisees to communicate securely and in real time during sessions. Here we see a supervisor setting up a session. A title for the session is provided along with a description and a planned start time. A session password will also be provided to secure the session. Once the session is created, the supervisor can invite supervisees to join the session. To do so, a simple form is filled out with a session password and the supervisee's email address. Let's see what the supervisee receives. The following email will appear in their inbox with session details and connection parameters. There's also a quick link that allows them to quickly join the session. Once they click that link, they just need to begin by providing login information and the session password. Now let's switch back to the supervisor interface to illustrate what chat looks like from a supervisor's perspective. To send a message, all the supervisor needs to do is double click on the window and type in the message. Messages are sent securely to the supervisee. If we fast forward a few minutes in time, another message may need to be sent. After the supervisee implements our suggestion, we can acknowledge and praise them, reinforcing them within the session. Now let's see what it looks like from a supervisee's perspective. The supervisee's send message dialog looks a little bit different. It's pre-programmed with a number of messages that facilitate even faster communication. Here we see a help message is sent. Now if we switch back to the supervisor's interface, we see another feature that's known as the invisible message. Invisible messages are not sent to the supervisee during the session. However, they are saved in the system and are produced only later in the session transcript. This is ideal when a supervisor needs to share information with the supervisee but only wants to do so in a post-session review. Supervisors also have the option of specifying different priorities for each message that they send, either a normal priority message or a high priority message. High priority messages get marked in red. Later, after the supervisee has implemented the supervisor's suggestion, the supervisor may wish to change the status of a previous message. Here the supervisee is first praised for implementing the suggestion, and then the supervisor clicks on the old message to change its status. It's marked as deleted to let the supervisee know that it's no longer relevant. Now if we're done with our session and we want to produce the session transcript, this can be done from the lobby view. We can either directly download the transcript or we can email the transcript. We can download the transcript in a normal web browser, such as Google Chrome. A PDF file is automatically provided for us containing the session transcript. Notice how the invisible messages now appear in this session transcript. 
Now the other option is to email the transcript to someone, like the supervisee. If we switch over to their email again, we can take a look at what they've received. We see they have obtained a link which points directly to the PDF file. This link remains active for 10 days. This concludes our brief introduction to the iSoup product. For more information, visit isouplive.com.